I'm Jonathan Pierce. I work in the Terrestrial Biodiversity Team and I'm here today on Salisbury Plain site of special scientific interest. This is the biggest area of chalk grassland in the country and I've come here today to find out if we're making gains in improving nature conservation in the area. Right, we've got three vehicles, three people in each. Um, we're going to go over to the east and do Unit 125 just next to Sibri Hill. Sarah Grinstead from the Wiltshire team is responsible for this SSSI for Natural England. Sarah, um, what are you going to be monitoring today? We're, we're carrying out a, an assessment of the chalk grass and basically we're also looking at the invertebrate uh, assemblage habitat as well. So if, if you were to pick out the big five for Salisbury Plain, what would you say they are here? What the big five? features or yeah species features plants uh, well I mean the chalk grassland is obviously hugely important here um, the marsh fritillary butterfly stone curlew um, and I mean for me something like purple milk vetch is an absolutely lovely plant um, today we've looked at bastard toad flax which is highly indicative of a very good quality old chalk grassland Hi, I'm Jo Hatman. I work for the Natural England Field Unit. Um, I'm here on Salisbury Plain with a team of my colleagues and we're here for about four weeks doing survey work. of the topsoil just down to the bare chalk then it can take quite a few years for that to vegetate up again and you just get the bare patches and the very short sward and the adonis blues and so on so it's a really lovely bit of habitat. We're just on the east of the plain here um, and this is an area of tall grass probably about 10 meters by about five. It's a highly invasive grass which basically excludes most other species once it's established and it's very difficult to remove. I'm with uh, Julie Swain, uh, an ecologist with the MOD, uh, which is clearly the dominant land user on the plain here. Uh, Julie, can you tell us a bit about some of the, the key man management challenges on these grasslands? Sure, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, a site this size presents challenges of its own, um, but as far as um, military usage, particularly in the winter, I liaise with them on a weekly basis. We have wet weather meetings. A lot of the military activity here is beneficial for wildlife as well, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, one of the key species that we've got um, on the triple SI is the fairy shrimp, which particularly seems to like the deeper ruts in some of the earth tracks that are um, created by tank movements. Can you explain a, bit, a little bit about the relationship the MOD has with the uh, farmers who, who, who manage the land? Yeah, here? absolutely. I mean, we've got about 40 tenants. Each of those farmers has a farm plan. They're our main deliverer of the triple SI condition. Greenweed rare, fairy flax occasional. Yeah. Salad net abundant. Yeah. Okay Sarah, so uh, what's your immediate reaction from what we've seen today? Uh, well it's a huge unit with a lot of different grass and parcels in it. Overall though uh, the grazing levels have been pretty good in this unit. Uh, scrub levels are, are fine, um, good bits of bare ground here and there so hopefully heading towards favourable but quite a bit more work to pull the paperwork together first. Thank you.